you can definitely intentionally and thoughtfully shop a sale like this. You just have to be a little bit prepared, a little patient, and plan ahead of time. Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I'm going to be sharing with all of you my items that are on my wish list and what I personally think is worth it to purchase at the sale. First of all, I want to make it clear that I am not a sale person. That is not normally something that I go after, not something that I normally participate in. And actually this is going to be the first year that I am interested in purchasing some items from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I haven't participated in years prior just because I haven't really had the need to participate in it. I haven't had a need for certain items that were on their sale. This year, however, is a little bit different. There are several items that happen to be in the sale that I am actually very interested in purchasing. I don't plan to purchase all of these items. Um, I'm sure that a lot of them are going to sell out before I'm able to purchase them, um, but let's get right into it. Before I jump into my wish list, I actually wanna go over a couple of key dates with all of you, just in case you are unaware of when the sale starts and who is able to shop on what dates. Essentially, if you are a Nordstrom card holder, if you have their credit card, and depending on how much you spend throughout the year, um, you're going to be able to access the sale sooner. The people who are going to have the earliest access to the sale are the Nordstrom Icon members. They're going to have access to the sale starting today, which is Monday, July 12th. Nordstrom Club ambassadors are going to be able to have access on July 14th. Nordstrom Club influencers are going to be able to shop on the 16th and then the sale opens to the public on July 28th. I personally do not have a Nordstrom credit card. I don't really have any plans to get one. My husband and I like to keep our credit cards kind of condensed just so it's easier for us to track our expenses. Um, but if you were interested in signing up, they do offer a $60 bonus note if you've never signed up for the card before. Um, and then that way you can gain entry on the 16th, I believe to the sale. Credit cards are definitely a smart financial tool. Um, and if you're going to pay it off in full, once you get the statement, um, getting that $60 note could actually be a great incentive. Even though I am a rookie to this sale, I do know that it is extremely popular and I expect a lot of the items on my wish list to sell out, but that's okay. I'm not here to panic buy. I am here to purchase high quality items at discounted prices. These are all carefully thought out items, um, items that I believe are to be worth it in the sale because not everything is worth it in the sale. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The categories that I recommend you look into depending on what what your personal wardrobe needs are, are outerwear, shoes, denim, sweaters, those type of items that tend to be investment worthy pieces, items that tend to cost a little bit more money. I would focus on those items um, depending on what your personal wardrobe needs are of course um, because there are a lot of great pieces at great prices. I'm not going to be sharing these in any particular order, but we're going to start off with a bang, and that is the All Saints Rita Oversized Wool Cashmere Sweater. I've actually tried this on before in Nordstrom, um, and I would recommend sizing down. It is an oversized, generous fit. In the sale, they have this in three different colors. Um, I do know that it comes in a white cream color, but that is not offered in the sale. They do have it in black. This um, darker oatmeal beige color and a beautiful rosy pink. I actually would be happy with any of these colors, but I am much more leaning towards the oatmeal and the pink. Uh, I have a hard time with those beigey oatmeal colors. Certain light colors can definitely wash me out. The oatmeal color in this particular sweater is dark enough. I think it's going to look beautiful. And then of course that beautiful pink color looks great on everybody. Um, those are my top two. I've got another All Saints item on my wish list and that is the L or Ellie sweater. Um, it's got these really cute snap details up on the top. I think that it is super cute. Um, and the snaps at the top, you can actually move them around and snap them in different ways. I think that is super chic and innovative and it gives you a little more versatility. I'm definitely thinking I would pick this up in the white. I just love All Saints. I think that they're a great brand. And then the final All Saints piece I have is this gorgeous boiled wool sweater. 
Um, again, very interested in the white cream color. If you've never worn a boiled wool piece before, um, essentially it is a tighter knit. It's not going to have a lot of give to it. I would recommend purchasing your regular size. So I'm going to be purchasing a large in this sweater um, if I'm able to snag it. Uh, I think it's great. Um, and boiled wool tends to be a lot more hard wearing. I love the beautiful rolled neck detail and also the seams that kind of go all over the place. I think it's really chic. And of course the asymmetrical hem, very flattering, very chic. Absolutely love it. The next item on my list is this Free People Too Good sweater. It is a crop sweater. I am super into cropped sweaters right now, especially ones that are slightly cropped. Slightly cropped meaning that they're not going to be showing my belly, but cropped enough that it makes it easy to tuck into high-waisted pants, high-waisted jeans. Um, that is such a life hack that I had never been keen on before, but it makes so much sense. So when I'm wearing high-waisted pants or jeans that I want to have that tucked in look and I don't want to wear a bodysuit, um, most bodysuits do not work for my body type because I have such a long torso, uh, but this is a great life hack because if they are slightly cropped, um, just enough that they have a couple inches to be able to go into the top of the waistband, that way you don't get bulges around your midsection, which is not a good look. Um, but yeah, so I think that this sweater is super cute. Um, I do personally really love Free People. One thing I will say about Free people is that not all of their items are high quality um, but I just am careful and I really pay attention to the fabric content on those pieces um, and I also take into consideration that they may not last me several years but they just may last me a few seasons and then I kind of just weigh the pros and cons of that with the price point and determine if it's worth it for me to add to my wardrobe. This particular sweater comes in several different colors. I am personally interested in the white or the gray. The next item on my wish list is this gorgeous Eileen Fisher wool tunic sweater. It does come in three colors. I am most interested in the honey color, which is this beautiful dark oatmeal camel color. I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love Eileen Fisher. I've talked about this a few times on my channel. I do find her clothes to be incredibly beautiful, timeless. Um, they work for any age range and they're super, super high quality and worth the price. Now I have personally never paid full price or anywhere near retail of Eileen Fisher in the past. Um, however, I am willing to splurge on this particular tunic. I know that if I take care of it, I will have this piece for many, many seasons. Um, so to me, the cost per wear is going to be extremely low. Um, and yeah, if you've never purchased anything from Eileen Fisher, I highly recommend that you purchase some of your basics from her. Um, now I personally find that her clothing runs a little big, so I would size down. Um, most of the time I am a medium in her clothing. Um, sometimes I wear a small or extra small, just depending on the fit. Um, this particular one, it does say to size down. So I will just be sizing down to a medium. I don't think I'm gonna go any lower than that. Moving on, there is this beautiful boss sweater, the Fema, I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's like a beautiful um, funnel neck sweater. I do like it both in the white and the black. I think the fit of it is gorgeous. It's slightly boxy, but not too boxy. Um, and not that you'd be swimming in it or that it would be unflattering. Um, it's gorgeous. This beautiful sweater is a blend of cotton, silk, and a little bit of cashmere. Absolutely beautiful fabrics. Um, you can hand wash this. This is not dry clean only, which is again, of course, why I have decided to add it to my wish list. We're going to move on to basics. So in terms of t-shirts, I do have a couple that are on my wish list. The first one is this one from BP, which is um, Brass Plum or Nordstrom's own line. Just be really careful about the quality of these in-house brands. They're not great in my personal opinion. However, this is again, that slightly cropped tee. Um, I'm obsessed with that right now it's working really well for me in my wardrobe I could always add another when it comes to like t-shirts and tank tops especially if they get a lot of rotation in your wardrobe a lot of wear I would recommend purchasing several of them um, I am wearing my t-shirts a lot these days my look is a lot more casual these days um, as well just because of life and circumstance changes um but i'm here for it this piece is not heavily marked down at all it's going from what twelve dollars to about eight dollars um so 
I'm not gonna be heartbroken <laughs> if I don't snatch it in the sale um, but if I'm able to snag it I think for you know under $10 for a basic cropped tee with a longer sleeve um, is totally something that I am down for and then the last basic is a Nordstrom house brand like their actual name brand is this v-neck dolman sleeve tunic um, I'm interested in it in the black only if I'm able to snag it. The tan that's available is way too light for me. It's going to completely wash me out. Um, but I think that this would be a great basic, great for layering over leggings, over skinny jeans, that sort of thing. Um, that's definitely my look, especially in the spring and summer. Um, so yeah, it would be a great basic to add if I'm able to snag it. Again, I don't think it's that high quality personally. Um, so um, I'm okay, but I'm okay with that price point versus how many wears I'm going to be able to get out of it. And I just think it's a very chic basic. The last item that I'm going to share with you today in my wish list is a pair of boots. I don't really need another pair of boots, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> but the fact that they're also waterproof and they're from a brand that I know works for me and fits my foot very well, um, I'm definitely interested in purchasing these. These boots are the Vionic Wilma boot. Um, again, I think it's such a chic look, very trendy right now, very practical, good for your feet. If you've never tried Vionic shoes, Oh my gosh, they make some amazing, high quality, um, very comfortable, good for your feet shoes that are also stylish. Um, I absolutely love this brand. Now, sometimes I do have issues with my heel um, slipping out of like their flats and things like that. So I just tend to stay away from those. I tend to go with like the open back sandals or slides or things like that or boots. Um, I don't have an issue with those, but I absolutely love these. These also come in a green color as well. If they are only left in the green, I may purchase those instead, but really I have my heart set on the black. And that concludes my wish list. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I would love to hear your thoughts and what items are on your wish list in the comments below. Before I end today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about FOMO and panic buying. With a company like Nordstrom running a huge sale like this, it is very easy to get sucked in and tempted into buying things that you don't really want or don't really need. So I just want to encourage you to take a step back and to really think about the items that you want to purchase, why you want to purchase them, and start creating your wish list. All you have to do is create a Nordstrom account. It's totally free. This way you can stay focused and you can be intentional with your spending. I made my wish list with the intention of it being an actual wish list, meaning I'm not intending on purchasing every single item. I'm really intending on purchasing just a few items if I'm able to even grab them. I don't consider myself a minimalist, but I do consider myself an intentional shopper. Um, it's taken me many years to get to this point. I'm not immune to impulse buying. You know, I am a human being, but I really try to take the time to think about um, the items that I'm looking to purchase. Um, I really try to take a hard look at my wardrobe and see what I actually need versus what I want. And then I make my wish lists and I prioritize them based on my needs. You can definitely intentionally and thoughtfully shop a sale like this. You just have to be a little bit prepared, a little patient, and plan ahead of time. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!